what I've talked about so far is all the aftermath, as it were, of our Big Bang. But some people think that our Big Bang is not the only one. What I've talked about is what's the bottom right there, the right beyond our horizon, but some people think that there could be uh, many other Big Bangs. It's hard to portray them, but this is a cartoon which indicates that uh, there may be many, many Big Bangs. This is an idea called eternal inflation. This again is entirely speculative, uh, but it raises interesting questions. If there are many Big Bangs, then we'd like to, are they all the same? The same geometry, governed by the same physics? If they're not governed by the same physics, then of course some of them might not have gravity, some might not have a periodic table, etc. And so only a subset would allow the emergence of complexity in life, and then we would be in part of that favoured subset. This is what's called anthropic selection. And I think one of the issues for cosmology in the next uh, few decades is to see which part of its decision tree is right. Is there one Big Bang? Or might we have evidence for there having been many? If there are many, are they all the same? Or could they have a variety in the physical laws? So what we call the laws of physics are just, as it were, parochial bylaws applying in a domain that we can observe, but that's a tiny part of physical reality. We don't know. But it's interesting to speculate that we may be due for a further sort of Copernican demotion. And I'd like to go back even before Newton to Kepler. As Kepler famously thought that the orbits of the planets were in ratios governed by wonderful mathematics, ratios of the five platonic solids. We now know that he was misguided. We now know that the orbits of the planets are random accidents. All we can say is that our Earth happens to be a lucky planet in an orbit which is fairly circular and as a temperature allows life to exist. So it's, it's a, a, an anthropically allowed subset of planets. And so it could be that just as we've had to learn that there's no magic absolutely about the uh, laws governing the planets, so we may learn that what we call the fundamental laws of physics are also environmental accidents, which are consequences of some deeper laws that apply to the entire multiverse. 